Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bad ayyla habita fillah from the sayings of the Salaf about truthness and sincerity collected by Abdul Wahhab ibn Muhammad al-Salafi translated by Akhuna Abbas Abu Yahya the first being the slave of Allah cannot actualize you are the one that we worship except with two principles one of them is following the messenger and the second is having sincerity for the one worshipped. Secondly, sincerity for Allah is that a person's intent is for Allah and intends everything for him, causing fountains of wisdom to spring up from his heart onto his tongue. The third thing, whenever the sincerity of the slave of Allah strengthens, his worship becomes more complete. Fourth, in relation to the amount of tawheed a slave has for his Lord and his sincerity for the religion of Allah is the amount he is deserving of the generosity of Allah upon him from intercession and other things. Fifth, a person does not show his actions to the creation except due to his ignorance of the greatness of the creator. Six, ikhlas cannot be achieved except after having zuhud. And there is no zuhud except after having except after having taqwa, and taqwa is following the commands of Allah and His Messenger, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and keeping away from prohibitions. Seventh, strive today in implementing tawheed, since there is nothing that will deliver you to Allah except tawheed. Also, be eager in fulfilling its rights, since there is nothing that can save you from the fire except tawheed. The eighth, whoever is sincere in regards to the actions of the deen, which he does for Allah, then he is from the pious, the awliya of Allah. Ninth, if you correct your hidden deeds subsequently, Allah will correct your outward deeds. Tenth, having the correct understanding of the deen is light, which Allah throws into the heart of the slave of Allah, which is increased by having the taqwa of Allah and having good intent. Eleventh, ikhlas is the way to salvation. Islam is the ship to safety, and iman is the seal of security. The twelfth point, certainly the strength of Yusuf, Yusuf's sincerity, alayhi salatu wasalam, was stronger than the beauty of, Al of Aziz's wife, stronger than her allure and his want for her. Thirteen, the heart of the truthful person is filled with the light of truth, and he has the light of Iman. The fourteenth, the sincere person is fortified by Allah due to his worship of him alone, intending his face alone. He has humility for him alone, and hope in him alone, requesting from him alone, submissiveness for him alone, and has a dire need of him alone. The fifteenth, there is nothing that strives away, that drives away the afflictions of this world except Tawheed. That is why the supplication of the distressed person is with Tawheed, such as the supplication of Eunice. The distressed person does not supplicate by what Eunice supplicated with, except that Allah releases him from his hardship with Tawheed. There is nothing more gruesome for the distressed person except Shirk. And there is nothing that can rescue you from it except Tawheed. It is the refuge for the creation, its shelter, its fortress, and its aid. The sixteenth point, the reward is doubled in, according, in accordance with one perfecting his Islam and with his perfecting the strength of ikhlas in that action. The seventeenth point, if a benefit could be achieved from an action performed without ikhlas, then Allah would not have criticized the hypocrites. The 18th point, without doubt, ikhlas negates the reason for entering into the fire. Therefore, whoever enters the fire from those who said, La ilaha illallah, then this is proof that he never implemented the sincerity of La ilaha illallah, which would have prohibited him from the fire. The 19th point, if the slave of Allah perfects his tawheed and his sincerity for Allah, and he establishes 
fulfills all its conditions with his heart and his tongue and his limbs, then forgiveness for his past sins becomes obligatory. The 20th point, fitna continues upon the heart, except if the deen of the slave is completely for Allah. The 21st point, without doubt, the sincere person has tasted the sweetness of his worship for Allah. This is what stops him from performing worship for other than Allah. Since there is nothing more sweet or more blessed for the heart than the sweetness of a man in Allah, the Lord of the worlds. The 22nd narration, the different grades of doing actions for Allah are in relation to what is in the heart from Iman, sincerity, love, and that what follows them. The 23rd narration, sincerity is not combined in the heart along with the love of being praised by the people and being commended by them and also having greed for what the people have except like water being combined with fire. The 24th, Ikhlas and Tawheed are a tree in the heart. Its branches are good actions. Its fruits are a good life in this world and eternal comfort in the hereafter. And just like in paradise, the fruits whose supply is not cut off, nor are they out of reach, likewise are the fruits of Tawheed and Ikhlas in this world. The 25th narration, an action done without a class and without following the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is like a traveler whose sock becomes filled with sand, which weighs him down and has no benefit. The 26th narration, Allah loves from his slave that he beautifies his tongue with the truth and his heart with ikhlas and love, turning repentantly and reliance upon Allah. The 27th and last point, having sincerity for the deen of Allah is the foundation of justice. Likewise, committing shirk with Allah is a great injustice. And most of these narrations were from Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah and Sheikh al-Islam ibn al-Qayyim and Imam ibn Rajib. Rahimahumullah jami'an and may Allah forgive them all of their sins and bless them all with jannat al -fardos. And may Allah bless the translator and the compiler of this and forgive us all of our sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.